Okay, let's try calibrating the first layer on our Prusa i3 Mark III. Now, some things to note. I'm preheating everything for PLA because it's going to ask us for PLA and I have PLA preloaded. This is the stock spring steel sheet with the stick on PEI surface. I clean it with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, before I do this calibration. Once you do this calibration and you get it perfect, you're not going to have to do it for hundreds of prints unless you move the machine or something changes. So, I'm going to show you here, I even have notes, bigger minus number means lower nozzle. Once we get the thing started, it puts a minus number up here. And the larger you make that number, let's say if it's 500 and you change it to 600, the nozzle comes down a little. We want just enough squish to get it to stick, but no more than that. Just enough. So you modulate that number until you've got it right where you want it. And the way we test it is by dragging our finger across. So I'm going to start the calibration process now down here by going to calibration. First layer calibration. Is PLA filament loaded? Yes. And now the process is going to start. Since it's preheated, it should start pretty quick. Now I print mostly ABS, PETG, and ColorFab NGen. I try to use all premium filaments. I put no coating on the bed. It's bare. It's just cleaned with alcohol. It's going to print the priming strip, and then it's going to put the calibration number up right here. We'll see what that is, and then we'll try and zoom in, and I'll show you how this works. First, it's doing its uh, automatic bed leveling. It'll run through that process. It'll only take a minute. Then it's going to print the primer here. It's going to prime the nozzle. Then it's going to start printing. And it's going to print this test pattern. This is all done, pre-programmed by Prusa. It's right there in the menus. It's really a super cool, simple way to do things. Okay, down here it says minus 622. 0.622. So the bigger number means the lower nozzle. So now it's printing. Let me see if I can zoom in there. We don't need to see the settings too much anymore. Well, maybe it would be good. So it's printing a stripe, and this is how I test it. I wipe my finger across. So if I raise the nozzle, making a lower number, now I'm down to 585. The nozzle's coming up a little, and the stripe is going to get a little thinner. You see it? I can wipe it off. That's a little too high. So I'm going to make my number bigger. I'm going back up. I'm at 615 down here. And now I'm going to test over here, and it's sticking. 615 is good, and you save it by doing this. One push. It's now preset. And I'm at 615, and it was good. It was at .622 before, it's now at .615. Try zooming in there a little, and you can see how I wipe my finger across. I literally just go like that. As long as it stays on there. Now if I push really hard, I can probably pull it off with my nail. But you just drag it across. If it's sticking, you're good. And that's how it's done. Let me show you that one more time. Here, I pushed really hard and I pulled it off. But you just want to be able to wipe over it. And that's how it's done. We're going to print a test print with ABS now so you can see how my calibration worked. It's doing the uh, bed mesh leveling. And now it's going to print the uh, priming strip there, and it'll start printing the uh, skirt. We're doing a test print. We just recalibrated the first layer. Now, this is something you can do on your first print. Go like this when it's doing the skirt, like this. I'm wiping with my finger, like this. Look. See if it pulls off. If it doesn't pull off, but it looks like it's a nice, pretty high pretty high deposit on there and it's not printing off, you're in good shape. So we'll show you what it's like at the end, how stuck on it is. Again, I'm very, very lightly, I'm not pressing down at all with my finger. And voila, here is our finished sample test model. We're testing how, how it sticks, how it works out after we did our Z calibration or our first layer calibration. And here you can see it stuck quite well, printed perfect. A little bit of this flex action we love. Broke right free. Now I have the slightest bit of an edge here. Just a little bit of a squish, squish out, which I can easily just 
file away or use my uh, burnishing tool. Now, this is really what you can prove here that you can prove. Let me zoom in a little more. And uh, this is really the proof in the pudding. One layer stuck really good. Now, I'm not pressing down real hard. I'm, I'm just kind of dragging my finger over it. Now, if I get my nail under here, there it is. I broke it away. Okay, that's with this stock bed with the PEI sheet. No glue, no nothing. Every now and then I wipe some alcohol over it. Calibrated with the, PV, uh, with the PLA, as I showed you in this video. And that's how she works out. So that's what you got to do, one of the most important things on your uh, Prusa i3 Mark III. So have fun, folks.